Uh, first off, I thought that was a good college baseball game. I thought our guys came out. We were ready to play. I thought their guy threw very well early. And, um, you know, I thought we just matched him. And Landon was the Landon route that we've been waiting to see on Friday nights. He threw very well and got us into the seventh inning and uh, just, you know, commanded the baseball a lot better. Still a couple walks. I know he wants to, you know, eliminate a few of those. But I thought he threw outstanding. I thought our defense behind him was great. And then there were two relievers, Hunter Hodges and Adam Smith, had pretty good quick innings. But, uh, you know, we didn't do a whole lot offensively the first time through. Uh, the infield hit by Jack Kroon uh, in the fourth, uh, down third base. Their guy made a heck of a play to make it close. And then a couple walks, a pass ball, scored a run, and then we got a big swing from Matt Suggs. So that kind of that kind of gave us a little room to breathe a little bit. And then um, we tacked on a couple more with uh, – Noah Bridges scoring after getting a walk and then Kip Brandenburg swing. But just uh, that's that's how I want to see us play on Friday night. Come out, pitch well, play defense, and get timely hits, and then, uh, you know, carry it into Saturday. Questions? Randy, I know it's he's your guy and everything, but do you ever – were you guys a little concerned about things, you know, with Landon? It's just it, would, it had been so unlike him, and tonight was – you know, much more the guy that we've seen for you guys. No, no I think, um, you know, he's our guy, but we have a couple other guys and a lot of other guys too. Just I, I want everybody to know that. Like, he, he he's good, but we've got a lot of good players. But, uh, you know, Landon, you know, the, the background with Landon is uh, Landon could have easily had a chance to play pro ball last year. And, uh, you know, we played 15 games. The way things changed, it uh, it, it kind of changed the whole dynamic of kind of what he had been has been building up as a, as a college player. You know, he was expecting to have a great season last year. We were going to have a great season. He was going to get drafted, and he starts his pro career. Things changed a lot. Uh, he still had an opportunity potentially to, to get drafted in the five rounds. Uh, he made some decisions that he felt like it was more important to come back to college baseball. So, you know, you, you have a little bit of pressure there and, and it's not pressure that, you know, a lot of our guys go through all the time, but uh, you know, he's going to be fine. He's, he had to work through some things and a lot of it's just getting out there uh, and working through it. But um, he's been working every day in practice, his bullpens. And um, it was just great to see him. And I think he's going to, you know, use this as a springboard and then just be ready to go on next Friday force. Uh, another March 11, 12, another Matt Suggs ball absolutely crushed into the night. What is it, you know, do you feel like he's fully back to where he needs to be? You know, he's it's a couple of weeks, you know, he missed the first week of the season and then kind of felt like he got a little warmed up, but is he, is he back to where you expect him to be? Yeah, I think he's healthy. Um, he missed the first week because uh, he was dealing with a oblique injury to his side and, we just didn't feel comfortable to go out. He could have probably played, but I was just hoping we could get through three games, get him through another week of practice, another week of rehab and treatment to where it wouldn't be something that would linger uh, all season. Uh, oblique injuries are kind of like hamstrings. If, they, if, you, if you irritate them, it'll nag you for a long time, and especially being a catcher that has to throw a lot, and uh, obviously from a hitting standpoint, but uh, – you know, he got through that first week and then got out there and got some action as a DH and catcher. And uh, I mentioned it a week or so ago. I think just mentally, he once he made a couple swings, hit that first home run, have to make a few throws to second base game in game like uh, he got over the mental side of it. Now he's just feels good. Um, still got some work to do with the bat. But, uh, you know, he's put a charge in a few balls the last two weekends. And uh, that's what we need. You had him catch uh, Landon tonight too. You kind of, I think, I think you've completed the cycle with your catchers, giving Landon a shot. Something, yeah. it, 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 where was the familiarity level? Did that you think did that have anything to do with tonight as well? I know that you know that you know sometimes a catcher just needs a pitcher. So, yeah, yeah, and I mean, uh, Landon, honestly, the last couple years, his um, battery mate that he's worked the best with has been Zach Bridges, and um, you know we 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 caught Zach last week with him and you know it, it's not Zach's fault it's not Matt's fault it's not it's just the way baseball is and uh, I, I'm confident with all our catchers obviously Patero and Yip and Bridges have all you know helped us to get through these first 10 games uh, 
you know, Matt, Matt's healthy. Matt needs to be catching on Friday nights and, and getting his bat in the lineup. And uh, I thought he handled the, the, you know, thought he handled Landon very well. Uh, uh, the strike zone that we have on Friday night uh, with the umpire we had tonight, he's a very tight zone. You got to throw it over the plate to get a strike call. And I thought Matt and Landon handled it very well and, and um, did what we needed to to uh, fill the zone up.